Our immune system is an important part of our defense system. Some of our immune cells can be found in lymph nodes. The key immune cells here include regulatory T cells that help balance part of our immune system. B cells, the cells responsible for producing antibodies, and T helper cells, which help activate these B cells to produce antibodies. Deletions and mutations of the LRBA gene can have devastating effects on our immune system, potentially leading to severe autoimmune disease. Within regulatory T cell, the LRBA gene codes for the LRBA protein. This allows the regulatory T cell to keep our immune system in check. The LRBA protein's job is to protect another protein called CTLA4 so it can build up on the surface of the regulatory T cell. To explain why this is important, we need to now introduce the B cell to the story. Remember B cells produce antibodies, which neutralize invaders like viruses and bacteria. Sometimes they are programmed to produce antibodies against the body's own cells. And this is where CTLA-4 comes in. When a regulatory T cell bumps into one of these B cells, CTLA-4 gives the B cell a kind of a haircut, shaving off a protein called CD86 from the cell's surface, and then engulfing CD86 before breaking it down. CD86 is normally a switch that turns on the immune response. A lot of CD86 signals helper T cells to activate these B cells, which then causes the activated B cells to divide and produce antibodies. This is great if the antibodies target an invader, but can cause serious damage if an abnormal B cell is producing antibodies that target the body's own cells. If CTLA-4 has shaved off the CD86, Helper T cells won't activate the B cell, effectively putting a break on our immune response, so it doesn't harm any normal parts of our body. If there is a mutation in the LRBA gene, and no LRBA protein is produced, CTLA-4 isn't protected and can't build up on the surface of regulatory T cells. This means that when a regulatory T cell bumps into a B cell programmed against the body, it has no way of stepping on the break. As a result, CD86 builds up, signaling T cells to activate these abnormal B cells, which then produce antibodies that will harm our body.